Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents with a warning. Whoa, listen. <clears throat> to everybody who has a car with AC, you've got to hear this. Please take heed. All right. A friend of mine sent me this. I've got to pass this one on. Okay. You know how your car manual says to roll down the windows to let out all the hot air before turning on the AC? You ever wonder why? Hmm. Well, you know how folks are dying from cancer? More than ever before. We wonder where this stuff comes from. But here is an example that explains a lot of these cancer-causing incidences. Listen. Many people are in their cars the first, time, first thing in the morning and the last thing at night, seven days a week. Please, caution, do not turn on your AC as soon as you get in your car. Open the windows after you enter and then after a couple of minutes, turn on the AC. Here's why. According to research, the car's dashboards Seats, AC ducts, in fact, all the plastic objects in the vehicle emit benzene. Benzene is a cancer-causing toxin, a big carcinogen. Take the time to observe the smell of plastic, of heated plastic in your car when you open it and before you start it up. In addition to the cancer causing, benzene poisons your bones. It causes anemia and reduces white blood cells. Oops, there goes the immune system. Prolonged exposure can cause leukemia and increase the risk of some cancers. It can also cause, <clears throat> caution, caution, caution. It can also cause miscarriages in pregnant women. Hmm. The acceptable benzene level indoors is 50 milligrams per square foot. A car parked indoors with windows closed will contain 400 to 800 milligrams of benzene. I'm not even going to try to figure that one out. It's way above the acceptable level. If parked outdoors in the sun, the benzene level goes up to 2,000 to 4,000 milligrams, 40 times the acceptable level. Now, people who get into the car keeping the windows closed, they'll eventually inhale this stuff. Benzene is a toxin that affects your kidneys and liver. What's worse, it's extremely difficult for your body to expel the toxic crap. Now, friends who open the windows and doors of your cars your whys and give it time for the interior to air out and dispel all that deadly stuff before you enter your vehicle. Now, I'm sharing this with you. Someone shared this with me. I ask you, share this with someone you care for. Even if you don't care for them, share it anyway. Everybody at least needs to be warned. Thank you.